Hey guys, Crew of Blind went back, and I'm Shane. Eric. I'm back with Chuck. Mm -hmm. Eric, you remember what happened last time? Last time we had uh, Sarah and her Sarah's father. dad, yeah. Um, who was played by the other guy that plays Ricky Bobby's dad? Yeah. Yep. Um, he no, was I, a swindler. I, he was a swindler. He's a swindler. Um, but he knows people. He knew Chuck. Yeah, he knew Chuck loved his daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Basically. Everybody knows. Pulled an Ocean's Eleven style. Yeah. Uh, I don't say heist. It's basically a heist. You know what I mean? But they didn't get away with it. He was trying to rip off those Arabs. Yeah. I don't know why I say it like that. Whenever. Arabs. Arabs. They have Arabs. <laughs> um, but he was trying to do that, and he kind of did. Um, but yeah, they're talking about how you know the bigger the bigger the lie, the easier it is to believe. And I, I kind of mentioned, oh, I wonder if that's interesting. Like. Uh, Think about Sarah and their lie, Sarah and Chuck, mm -hmm. and how easy it might be to, to believe, but we know it's not real. Mm -hmm. Or is it? We'll see. Um, and then also, I was watching, uh, we were watching the Supergirl Comic Con video, mm -hmm. and I realized that, oh, Awesome's dad played the president in that show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was like, where have I seen Awesome's dad before? I couldn't think of Is he awesome in that? No. Okay. No, he's not. Uh. Well, it's been about an hour. Tony Lord says this thing ends with the pigs making that punk eat lead thoughts. I say he crashes. You guys are amateurs. This has beat down written all over okay, it. Okay, bring it in then. Bring it in. <laughs> bring it in. Bring it in. Doors open in and out. Round up the freaks. Have everyone meet me in Santa's village pronto. The freaks. <laughs> Wait a minute. It appears the perpetrator has just turned off Burbank Boulevard into a shopping complex. He's not oh, slowing no. down. He's not slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> No. I don't want to hurt anyone, Chuck. So as long as no one gets braid, no one Man, gets he has shot. some crazy ass. Okay. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> Fucking Big Mike eyes. Um, man, Big Mike rushed the last man that had a gun in his store. Yeah. And threw him. 50 feet in the air. He had the advantage, though. What's going on? Great. Who's moving the camera? They said with their loved ones. Okay. Who's in charge here? Holding a donut? Yeah, fuck, cool shit! Michael Rooker. <laughs> and the guy from Family Matters. Yeah, he's a cop here too. Yeah. That's that's why he's here. I was so distracted by the donut. <laughs> you really were. <laughs> Michael Rooker. Why today? They say he knows Mike. That's you know, his brother. His brother. We'll keep this between us, but I know some people. Don't layer cover. You know, people who can make all this go away as long as you don't do anything stupid. Everybody's okay. Uh, Ned, uh, is it okay if I call you Ned? Sure, Ned's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> His Ned eyes. He yeah. told me that he wants absolutely no trouble. He says that you should send out a hostage as a sign of good faith. Good God! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! Hit me! <laughs> Not the over! <laughs> and she needs me. Her boba. Uh, okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah. <Send> him. <laughs> so concerned with his mother. Oh, thank you. Mother boy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Emmett, uh, what, what's going on inside there? What's going on inside is the greatest sales event of the season. That's right. <laughs> the only thing dangerous is how low we have slashed our God bless that man. God bless that man. Everyone. Uh, hey, uh, Chuck, uh, how do I do that? Because uh, truth is, I never used one of these before. There's probably a button on it, like a safety or something like that. Just go ahead and push it. Oh my god, Chuck! I repeat, we hear gunfire! Oh no! Oh no. Oh, no. Uh, where do you get shot? It was a mistake! You owe me a toe, Bartowski. No, we lost a toe! Mm, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's a great idea. Maybe you could let everyone else make a call too. Check in with their loved ones, let them know that they're safe. Okay, Chuck. Yeah. That dude just scratched his head with a loaded gun. Yeah. Jesus. So, uh, Ned let everyone call their loved ones. That was pretty smart to call me. Project our cover. Yeah, well, you are my girlfriend. Sort of. But considering the circumstances, I kind of want to give it to you today. Chuck, we're going to get out of here. We'll be fine. I promise. It's my mom's charm bracelet. My dad 
gave it to her when Ellie was born. Oh, Chuck, I can't take this. This is something real, something that you should give to a real girlfriend. I know. Chuck! Yeah. Yeah. It's good. What do you say we start with the injured man? He looks like he needs medical attention. Can't keep him in here. I'm fine. I'm good. So I'm gonna return the favor. I'm gonna let your girlfriend go. No! Be a cold Christmas of the Bartowskis. Oh no, he didn't. Who are you? Oh God. I'm not your only friend here, Ned. You've endeared yourself into the hearts endeared. of everyone here. I think we're all friends. Trust me, I'll never let anyone hurt you. Oh, man. I fucking believe that shit, man. Yeah. When Johan Chachowski tells me that. Yeah, I feel safe. Warm. Safe in her warm arms. Yeah. God damn. Well, so do I, Chuck. So do I. <gasps> oh no! Ah, uh, yes, we get a flash! Oh, no! <laughs> I was so worried we weren't gonna get a flash this episode. Like it just a regular episode? Don't worry about it, buddy. I'm a pro. He's a fulcrum agent! How's it looking there? Better. Ned seems to calm down after he talks to his wife. Yeah, where is she? We didn't bring her down here. Wife? What wife? There's no record of Ned being married. Hmm? Who are you talking about? Can I talk to you a minute? Remember, don't be awesome. So this guy just happens to be Fulcrum, or what's going on with the dude, though? It's a setup. But soon. First, you and I need to work something out on our own. I understand. You see, Falkman knows John Casey's in SA. I'd hate to see him shoot your pretty little sister if you thought you were not cooperating with me. Okay, we got we and Awesome in the crew. I want to know where Bryce Larkin is in the intersect are. Okay, I don't know that he's the intersect. If I think you're lying, even a little bit. Where's Bryce Larkin? It's tense. Yeah, I know. He looks so much more confident. He really does. He really does. And I'm really sorry. Oh, fuck. See you in a bit, Chuck. Listen, there's a time to be brave and a time to be timid. This is a time to be brave. Do it. Yeah, unleash the awesome. Right on! Right on, bro. Right on, bro. Sir, right on, bro. Sir, over here, can we get a statement? Everybody ready? Yeah. Get Ned. Morgan's with them. Trust me, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Morgan, I don't see Morgan. Oh no, the Fulcrumness. <laughs> awesome, he's reeled back. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Oh! <laughs> he had the ice machine! Yes, awesome! Yes, Big Mike! Fence. Nah, you, you can't leave her, man. You love her. You caught her when you were supposed to call your loved ones. Oh. Damn. Damn. Oh. They'll do whatever it takes to find me. And when they do, every full cremation we have oh, is going to be gotta kill him, man. the intersection. She's gonna kill him in cold blood. Not cold, self defense! <laughs> That's crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I gave her my bracelet. <laughs> yeah. We just seen Sarah do something pretty big for him. Lester is a piece of shit. 
<laughs> what happened to him? I arrested him. Casey's taking him to a secure facility as we speak. Get your trip. I hate when my enjoyment is solid. Ah. So I'm unhappy. Do we need to talk to each other? Yeah, the, yeah, and, and sh it's frustrating when. I mean, if Sarah can't do that, let's go. I, like Sarah, I, I know you killed him. Why'd you do that? Did yeah. you tell me? I'd be like, all right, let's bang, and then we would. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah. The show, Chuck. <laughs> the <credits are> story. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <We> lost. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> um, but now, in, in a lot of TV shows. Mm. Uh, Unless they're extremely, extremely smart, and this show doesn't try to be, it tries to be fun. Sure. There's, there's this conflict because people don't communicate. Yep. You know. Uh, so yeah. So uh, I, I knew you were gonna think it was just like a regular, like a weird episode where there was it was not a not a fulcrum thing. Yeah. Not an intersect. No, thing. it was good because it, it it lasted so long without you know because when it started I was like all right well who's gonna be. Is something gonna flash? I mean, it, beca it becomes much more exciting when you realize yeah. that fucking Michael Rooker's a Vulcan agent. And it's great too because you see the watch and like what's special about the watch, and then you hear the. And you're like, <gasps> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's great. It's really surprising. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Um, I, I remember Michael Rooker was Vulcan agent. I actually didn't remember the the, the driver was. Actually. Really? Yeah. yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. it was a good plan. Yeah, I mean. They'd be stupid if they didn't realize that something's going on at the buy more. So many of these guys end up going to the buy more accidentally and getting killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, I mean, they traced him by being able to trace and know that uh, Casey and and Sarah were agents. Mm -hmm. Why would two rival uh, agencies have people stationed right there? Yeah. Be doing something. Yeah. So, it makes sense. I like that. <clears throat> So Sarah doesn't really like Christmas simply for the fact that it was like the annual Salvation Army big con. <laughs> you know the I mean? Salvation Army con. What was the con? Stealing know. shit no one wants. Take all the stuff from the poor people, I guess. I guess. Yeah. It's like the sticky bandits. Yeah. Like stealing from a toy store on Christmas. Yeah. Ridiculous, right? It's like it's it's literally like the sticky bandits putting their hand in the in the Salvation Army yeah. collection agency. <laughs> Yeah. Hello. 22 cents from a Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Yeah. Oh, we also had, uh, yeah, and, uh, but, you know, I, I thought it was cool that Chuck invited her to the Christmas and said, hey, listen, at the Partowski house, it's going to be a great warm experience. PJs. It's going to, it's going to completely change yeah. your perception of Christmas. And then this happened. And what a great, fantastic thing you did by... When they were all calling for the loved ones, he called her because his loved ones were already there. Yeah. And that's another one of his. And she came over in the romantic comedy section and he gave her the bracelet, his mother's bracelet, you know? Mm -hmm. And she's like, You want to give us somebody that, that's this is real. This, you know, this, you should give us to a real girlfriend. And he just looks at her, like, oh. Says, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then she shoots a man in the face. It's all wrong. All right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she did it for him, man. I know, I know. I just mean, like, I just wouldn't have expected. Like, all right, what's gonna, what's gonna, what's gonna be the problem here? Oh, she's gonna shoot yeah. Michael Rooker in the face. That's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? So he's gone. He's dead. He's not a recurring guy. He's yeah. he's gone. He's out of here. Well, he was asking to be killed. He's like, we won. You know. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, you fucking idiot. You know? like, <laughs> I, I don't understand what he was thinking. Like any reasonable person, my, my mother would have shot him in the face. Yeah. If she was like, your 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 son's gonna die now. You know. <laughs> yeah. She'd be like, oh okay, bam. Yeah. She would double tap. Yeah. Oh, he was thinking. Yeah. We also had Carl from Family Matters yeah. playing the brother as of Big, Big Al. Big Al and Big Mike. We had Big that Al awesome hug in the end. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. We had Morgan basically be the hero. Almost. Yeah. And what the hell? Anna. I mean, it was misunderstanding because Anna was looking away. I know, but yeah, still. Well, but she was looking away, and he was I mean, looking away when she pushed Lester away. There's so many problems because one, Lester is a he's a dick for going after a girl that you know that somebody that you're cool with yeah. has been with or has recently been with. Yeah. You either say something or you wait a appropriate amount of time. Yeah. Didn't do that, so fuck him. Yeah. Um. And then Anna, like, she kissed him. And then she's like, oh, gross. But then she kind of had a look of like, I don't know. 
I didn't know if that was meant to be. She liked that she kissed him. I don't know. But I just, I hope they're not going down that avenue. Um, I, I didn't feel that way when I saw the kiss. I, yeah. I thought she really didn't like it, personally. Okay. All right. I hope I hope that's the case. Okay. But, I mean, I also, I you know, Morgan is sad, but I don't know how sad he is. Like, like I said before, like, it's not like he was, like, he's ever been super into Anna. She seems to be this kind of the person that's there. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think he's in love with her. Yeah. Like, like when, the, when the idea of, you know, moving in together, it's not like, hey, that sounds awesome, and I would want to spend as much time with you as possible. It was, that will destroy things for me, you know? Yeah. So. To be fair, I think a lot of guys who are in good relationships still feel that way about girls they do care about. Yes, but generally. I but would, you're right. I, I the show, say, the yeah. show is, you're right. Maybe because that's how the show is painting Morgan. Yeah, when you're 22 and you, you know, there's a lot of options and there's a lot of things that you want to do. Yeah, when you're 27, you know, you're gaining weight and you're like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, I better do this see. now. Well, I'll lock her down. Not even that, but it's like, you know. You, Things change. Priorities change, you know? No, you're right. And if you're really into somebody, you're really into somebody. And if he's not, he should tell her and get out of it. But, but then instead, he wants to stop, stop having sex with her, though. Yeah, well. What do you do, then? I don't know. <laughs> you convince me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, so that's unfortunate. Hopefully, the reconcile. I, I literally can't remember. So, yeah, yeah I'm kind of... I'm actually kind of reacting to the show because, yeah, there's some moments I just yeah. really don't remember. Um, I can... I don't, what's his name in this? Uh, Buster. Yeah, uh, Emmett. Em- 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 yeah, Emmett em- just got out there. <laughs> he got the hell out of dodge. He, he got the hell out of dodge. He pushed him over. Me, me, me. You know, like <laughs> he George. starts advertising. Yeah, he starts advertising. Really dangerous. This has more slashing prices. <laughs> and big old Mike's like, God bless that man. <laughs> yeah, like they care about this the sales. They really do. Yeah, it's like this younger guy. I work with a giant eagle. You don't talk about. Just, yeah. That's, I, he I would wish, do that. He would do that. Yeah, I do kind of wish we got to see, like, oh, they did, they did get record breaks because everybody was watching, and now they're all thinking about it, you know? Yeah. They want to come in and meet the, the heroes mm-hmm. uh, that just saved him. But. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's kind of definitely an awesome thing to do mm-hmm. for Devin to come be a plan, man up, take these guys out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it, there, yeah, there was a time to do it, and that was the time. Um, yeah, do you got anything else? Uh, I guess what my I, you want to speculate on maybe what's gonna happen with Sarah and Chuck uh, for the, well, next, for the mean, next couple episodes. You know, I went into the show with the idea that they're going to tease and go back and forth with Chuck and her getting together mm-hmm. for a very long time. Maybe not as long as Ross and Rachel. Yeah. You know, um, but I imagine that's gonna be the main thing that's gonna keep me hooked and keep watching. So. Every time there's a chance of them getting together, I, I'm waiting in the back of my head going, what's going to go wrong, you know? One I thing I'll say is, what's like, going to go wrong? It might be because I, I mean, I, I, I just, I literally love Zachary Levi as much as Johan Strahovski. He's yeah. like a sweet, nice guy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like, it's my favorite relationship in television. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to tell you the end, but it's just, it's great back and forth, you know? Yeah. Like, those, I love those two together, so. Yeah, you're right, but somehow had to mess it up, didn't it? Yeah. Fucking so you think maybe Michael for the next Rooker. episode or two, like there'll be some tension, and he'll wonder why she lied to him. And I mean, they'll probably just won't talk about it until something else happens. Burst and, at the seams. Yep. This is just a, a road bump and a series of many road bumps where it's inappropriate how many road bumps there are. You're probably right, but you know we'll see. You ever go like through like you go over like a like a speed bump, but there's like seven in a row. It's like why couldn't you just have three? I, I would have got it with just three, but they have like seven. You ever have that? Yeah, my off. high school. I feel like there's wasting road bumps. I'm high school, yeah. Yeah. I think maybe at high school they might want to reinforce definitely with the kids. I guess. You, you, know? you only seven. You know, just messing each other. We had like five, yeah. It's ridiculous. Because yeah, because that kid we left at Walmart jumped in a car because we're going over, remember? True. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't have anything else. If you want to see the next episode, you can right now by going to patreon.com slash blindwave. You can also check out the full-length version of this and all the things that we do at patreon.com slash blindwave. Uh, go to blindwave.net, check out the store, check out information about WaveCon. And yes, there's a shirt that we made. So go check it out, like, subscribe.